Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with a uh, pre-release pack opening from Modern Horizons 2. A little attack on Black Blade, but it's from uh, Vigilant Games, which is actually run by a friend of mine, a guy I've known for a long time, uh, Brian, uh, I guess, and he is about as good as you can get in this industry. Um, he's a, a formal, former level 2 judge. I think that's right. He's, he's been a judge. He's, he's a good guy. I'm just going to put his stuff down in the uh, comments below, but he sent me this um, this set, and we're going to see what we get here. Uh, he's got a TCG player account. It's really... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Got the green and white die. That, ooh. It's not a spin down because it's... It's just like that. It's not... Um, it is a spin down. It's not random. Siphus, really? That's cool. What is it? What are these cards here? These must be all tokens. I actually didn't do a pre-release for um, My Rise 2, but that deck um, looks pretty good. Siphus must be a bunch of tokens. We got Squirrel, Treasure, Clue, Food, and Thopter. And they're double-sided Army, Crab, Inspector Crab, uh, Beast, Bird, and Friction Germ. But yeah, um, Sithis, uh, Harvester's Hand. It's going to my rule deck, so that's good. We're going to go over here. Okay, and we got six, six cannon packs. So that's good. Um, I, I've opened up a fair amount of Modern Horizons 2 packs, and they've got no Ragavan, no Urza Saga. I've got a fair amount of fetches. I mean, it's not like I've got no fetches. It's fine. But I would love a Ragavan. Ragavan for the cube one time. What we got? Okay, we're going to go through these. These are all mm, pretty much, I think they're draft packs. That's in a pre-release type area. Healer's Flock. Arcbound Whelp. Arcbound Shakiri. And Nev Larry Nevin's disc. Uh, as a throwback rare, an obsidian charma squirrel token, cool. So we're gonna keep going here. Um, like I said, I really want a ragavan. Not gonna lie. Um, another thing I got from my buddy Brian. He got me a, a ignoble hierarch because I'm playing uh, tribal shamans uh, in modern, which has been pretty fun. It's a uh, Caleb D's list, I think, and uh, it's been pretty good lately. So, Graceful Restoration, Thraven Watcher, Squirrel Sovereign. This got horns on it. Look at that. That's good stuff. And Counterspell and Harmonic Prodigy, which actually goes in the uh, Tribal Shaman's deck, which is pretty good. And we got another Crab Token. The, um,. The Inspector Crab deck, uh, I mean, obviously it's kind of like the Mill deck in Modern, but it, it gives you a clue token, it's a defender, it's, it seems good. It's just a really good card. I actually like that card a lot. like it limited, it's just good stuff. Arcus Acolyte. Fast and Furious. Radiant Epicure. Okay. And Flame Rift for the old card. And a Misty Rainforest. Thank you with a pretty gnarly zombie token. But the Misty. Misty's good stuff. We like that. So that pretty much just like... The Misty just makes this little pack here. Because the fetches in this set are just all about the value. There's some other cards that are pretty good. For real. Not a lot of commons. There's some really sweet uncommon. Now, these, uh, the artifact lands have been really good so far. Silver Bliss Bridge, like that. Okay, so we got a Skyblades Boon, Legion Vanguard, Junk Winder, and a Mistress Factory as our throwback card with a Master of Death. This card is in the current Vintage Cube, or the last Vintage Cube on Magic Online. It may be the worst card in the cube. There's three or four that kind of vie for it, but it's not great. I, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I wish it could be like 
one of five or six other cards that I can think of off the top of my head. Anyway, um, especially in Demir. Demir has some pretty sweet cards, and they used one of their gold cards for Master of Death. No thank you. Okay, so uh, Necromancer's Familiar. Glorious Unfortunate. This card's really nuts and limited. Glinting Creeper. Mog Salvage. Okay, and Blood Brave Marauder. Okay, so if this had been a $10 Monterize 2 pack and I've got this as my rare, I'm not happy, but this is this is whatever. This is a pre release pack. It's great. Barb Spike. I think I got one of these already for Cube because I think it's pretty good in Cube. You know, it's a good equipment and it just comes with a body, so it's fine. But it's one in a white. Seems good. It's shiny. And another squirrel token. So we got that. Uh, is this the last pack? For real? Okay. Well, we got one fetch. We've got some other pretty decent cards. We got a cubable full and barb spike. Let's see what we can get in this last pack. So he's playing the um, Glimpse of Tomorrow deck. I think it is. Okay. So we got Thraven Watcher, Ghostlit Drifter, Feast of Sanity, Ooh, and what is that? Soul Snare with the old border. Cool. Zavaz the Glimmer Wasp with a Vile and Tumor Full. Seems pretty good. Actually, this card in a um, not really high level cube, like not vintage, maybe not legacy, but it's basically in a tune. For four mana, but it comes with a two-two death touch, but death touch body, so it's not bad. Little treasure token. So, anyway, this thing sees play a modern in uh, the Affinity list. Seems fine. So anyway, so the best card we got was the Misty Rainforest. We got some other pretty decent rares. Should be good. Um, no, I've opened up a lot of. Modern Horizons 2 have yet to open up a Ragavan or a Urza Saga, but you know, with individual rares, that's kind of this. Anyway, uh, definitely check out Vigilant Games. I'll put the link in the description and you can go check it out. They've got a TCG player store. Brian's good people. Go check him out. He's pretty much got the cards you need, uh, no matter what the format. So he keeps up with all the good stuff. But anyway, it's kind of late. I'm going to go to bed and I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one. If you've made it this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click subscribe and like the video and comment down below on what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.